Hey everyone. So my project specifically focuses on a type of in vitro biology called cell culturing. Cell culturing is basically a method of growing cells in a lab setting. Many different types of organism cells can be cultured, like bacteria, plants, animals, and even human cells can be cultured. Different organs can also be cultured, like liver cells or heart cells, or gill cells in fish. In my project, I'm specifically focusing on developing uh, fish olfactory cell cultures. The olfactory system in fish is located in the nose and is used to detect chemicals in the aquatic environment, similar to how humans use their nose to smell. The olfactory system in fish is necessary for migration, mating, and finding food. So, why am I and the rest of Lucy Lee's lab working with fish cells? Well, fish cells are relatively easy to culture, especially when compared to human cells. For example, human cells need to be kept at around 36 degrees Celsius, whereas fish cells can basically be cultured at room temperature. In my project, we attempt to create a primary cell culture from the nasal cavities of rainbow trout, and then to develop a procedure for creating these types of cultures that can then be replicated by future researchers. Previous studies with rainbow trout have only ever created olfactory cultures through invasive methods, such as cutting open the fish, and dissecting out large chunks of tissue from the nose. In my research, we are examining non-invasive methods of developing a cell culture, such as a nasal swab, which could more easily be performed on living fish. This would make it easier for future researchers to collect samples without needing to catch and fully dissect fish in their lab. Thank you everyone for your time.